In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient border around your videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a video on your timeline, we can first just begin by going into the new item button or alternatively, you can just go into the project tab and right click in the empty space and select new item. And we can either select black video or color mat. It doesn't matter which one we go for. I'll select black video in this example and we'll just press OK and drag that onto video layer two and expand the width of this all the way over to the end of this first clip. Then we want to go over into the effects tab on the left of Premiere and we'll just search for four. So the number four and you're looking for four color gradient. So that should be in the generate folder. We'll drop that onto our black video. And as you can see, we now have this gradient effect applied onto our black video. But at the moment, the colors are a little bit random. So I'm just going to go through the process of picking our specific color scheme. So I'm going to go for something which leans into reds and blues, but a bit darker. So I'm going to go into color one and I'll select the yellow box and I'll change this to a red, but I'll make this a nice dark red. Then I'll go into color two, as you can see, that's top right. And I'm going to change this to a nice dark blue somewhere around here. Then we'll go to color three, which is pink at the moment. I'll push that towards a lighter blue or a darker blue. And then color four is the bottom right. And I'll push that towards the reds again. Now, at the moment, you can see you've got these four very defined circles within this ramp. It doesn't really look like a soft gradient. It just looks like you've got four random points. So we're just going to go into blend. At the moment, it's set to 100. We'll just pull this all the way up and that should help to smooth that out a little bit. You can go all the way up, but then this almost just becomes a flat color, sort of blending those colors together. So you want to go somewhere in between to the point where we can see the gradient. And I think around the 500 mark does the trick. Now, if you wanted to animate this over time, then you can do all you have to do is go to the beginning of the video. We'll go into point one and we'll create a brand new keyframe on point one. And we'll do the same for point two, point three and point four. Then we'll go to roughly five seconds through. And we'll just go to point one and we'll move the position over to the right. Then we'll go to point two and we'll push this down. Then we'll go to point four and we'll move this to the left. And then we'll go to point three and we'll move this up. So they're all moving around into the next corner. Now, in order to loop this, you can just copy those keyframes. We'll go command C or control C if you're on Windows to copy those keyframes. Then we'll just move over to the 10 second mark and we'll just go command V or control V, command V. And there we go. You can see you've got this looping effect on this gradient video. Before I carry on with the rest of the video, I first just want to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. If you're enjoying these shorter videos that I post to YouTube, then I think you'll love the longer form content that I post on Skillshare. For example, one of the courses that I have on Skillshare is a three hour plus introduction to Premiere Pro. And this course covers everything from import settings to importing your footage, to masking, to multicam editing, to green screen. There's so much in that course and I'm able to get more detailed and more thorough in this course. So if you're new to Premiere Pro, if you're just looking for some up to date advice on how to use Premiere, then this course is for you. So click the link in the description below to check out that Premiere Pro course. But at the moment, it is just a solid video. It's filling the screen. How do we turn this into a border? Well, this is where we can go into opacity up here and we can either select the create four point polygon mask tool or we can select the free draw bezier tool. So if we select the four point polygon or the rectangle mask, it creates this rectangle here and you can move the points into each corner like this. And then once you're happy with that, you can just pull the feathering down to zero because at the moment it should be set to 10 by default. And you can see we just get this soft fuzzy edge. But when we pull that down to zero, it gives us that solid edge that we want. And then all you have to do there is just press inverted and we've got this border. Alternatively, though, if you didn't want to do that option, you could just go for the free jaw bezier and you can just select the points yourself. This gives you a bit more flexibility because you can change the shape of your border. And again, we'll select inverted. And now you can see we've got that cool border added onto our video. The cool thing is you can actually go into the ellipse mask or the circle mask and you can do the same thing. So you can just create a circle mask, uh, press inverted. And there we go. We get this really cool border. 
and that looks really awesome. Although I imagine if you clicked onto this video, you're probably looking for that traditional border. So in order to do that, I'm first just going to go into the settings icon and we'll go down to safe margins. So you can see we've got this grid here now applied. So I'm just going to go back into the Free Draw Bezier and I'm just going to use this to help us frame up this border so that it is perfectly straight. So I'm just selecting each corner of this safe margin. We'll go up to here. Then we'll just go back to inverted, pull the feather down to zero. We'll turn that off so safe margins are off. And as you can see, we've got this perfect rectangle border now around our video. And that is playing this looping gradient background effect just in the background of that border. And there you go. That is how you create this really awesome animated gradient border inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.